Hey, y'all, I'm glad y'all came back to join me at my station, my show. Yes, my YouTube channel, Dev Chanel's 48 Square. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to me, and definitely share my videos. But you know I like when you subscribe, you subscribe, subscribe. You subscribe, you subscribe, you subscribe. And share my videos, yes. And share my videos, yes. We're going to get on right on into this story. I'm like, I ain't here to save a garden too. No, I'm not. I'm not here to save a garden too. Well, right is right, wrong is wrong. And I thought I'd just swoop down, give y'all my feedback on how I feel about this story that's out on none other than Real Housewives of Atlanta Star Candy Burris. And she's all into those sex toys. So y'all know her brand, KB. Hook it up. If you uh, kind of we kind of dry in your sex scene or whatever, she can help you out. That's free promotion. That's all it is. And y'all probably going to hear some barking right about in a few minutes because my daughter's coming in and the dogs, they just saying they happy to see her. So I'm going to try to move away from all of this so I don't have to keep bombarding y'all with the dogs. Yeah, I thought it was y'all. Yep, that's them. So let me just scoop on up to upstairs and finish this article or presentation that I'm giving you all with all of that without that bark 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 woof 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 so I know y'all get tired of it I get tired of it myself so let me go on in to my office my home office and give y'all the rundown on this story <sighs> okay the story goes on to say, why do y'all always assume the worst? Candy Burris hits back at the followers ask about stepdaughter's whereabouts. Now, I'm, I'm puffing a little bit. Y'all know I'm on the heavy side. So, give us a little break. Okay, when the fall come in, I might be doing some lives where y'all can show. When they have not y'all show me, me show y'all. Uh, how I'm getting down on trying to lose this weight. One day, one step at a time. Yes, I got my bicycle ready. I got my treadmill ready. And it's always been here, y'all. Shit, the equipment been in my house for I don't know how long. Just failed to use it. Because I don't like exercise and I really don't. But don't let me tear it too long on this story. Or keep y'all too long. That's because I'm out of breath. Ooh, you live in an upstairs, downstairs home, and you get overweight, and you get old. I ain't gonna put myself out of pasture. I'm just 51, so I ain't old. I'm a new 30. I think that's how they do it. But anyway, I ain't too ashamed to tell you how old I am, and I, I'm blessed because I don't look like I am my age. Whether you agree with me or not, I know I don't, okay? But, like I said, I didn't read the story because I like reading the story with you all. And we dive in it together so y'all get my real reaction. So, but I just saw the headlines and I'm like, you know, I ain't Captain Saber Ho. I'm not. But when I see somebody is getting done wrong and I know I could have definitely been, well, I was in that situation. But I didn't care too much of going around my ex-husband's family anymore even though I was offered to come by some of them wish I was still in the family with him but we know how that goes when it's over it's over okay but you can make pleasantries all the way around the board when you have to all right but I was put in a situation where um I could have been uh, a stepmom to somebody because ain't nobody gonna replace your mom unless they did and then they still can't be replaced let's just keep it real 100 all right let's keep it a book so, you can't swoop in and think you can be on one end of the spectrum where you marry a man who already have children or a child and think you're going to come in and replace her mom, okay? Nine times out of ten, if it's a good mom, it's a good uh, a good environment, uh, a healthy relationship that the uh, man that you marry, they still have a good relationship with one another, meaning they respect each other. The love is not lost as far as you don't want anything to happen to your ex-husband or your ex-wife. It's just, it's not that kind of love anymore. It's like, thank you for giving me my children. I love you for that. Don't want nothing to happen to you. But I ain't trying to pay none of your bills. I ain't trying to creep and get some uh, nighttime nookie when I ain't got nobody. It ain't like that. I respect you because you were the mother of my firstborn or my first set of children. 
that kind of love. So I can understand. And people come that candy from what I'm just reading. Now, like I said, I just read the headline. And then I'm going to get myself on into it. This child is calling me, y'all. I left from downstairs so I didn't have to hear the noise. Uh, what do you want? What do you want? No, I was downstairs and I had opened up the door to see who's coming through the garage. And I saw it was you and your boyfriend. So I didn't want to hear all that noise. I came upstairs. Huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, you did. Okay, now I gotta go now. I'm taping. When you come back, can you bring some paper towels? Oh, ah, wait a minute. Whatever. Bye. Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm sorry about that, y'all. But y'all know when y'all get my channel, anything could be going on. I have an 80-year-old mother. I have a 28-year-old child, 20, 20 child, and then I have puppies, okay? So I'm busy. I can be at my, my real job, my job that pays my bills and stuff. And then I try to come home, handle whatever is at home, you know, have a time there. And then I try to get to my personal thing to make me some extra coins on the side of some dollars. OK, right now they coins. OK, but every little penny helps when you try to do it all to make ends meet. OK, all right. So I'm sorry about that little interruption. Now, let's get back to what I was saying, if I can remember what I was saying. I think it goes something like this. Do you want to hear me? I think you do. OK. Basically, when you marry somebody else, they got a already ready made family. They have children. You have a blended family. Then you have your own set of children that you coming in, kind of like the Brady Bunch, but not that that large of a family. You know what I'm saying? Not six people involved. Okay, we just had um, in Candy Bird's place. She just had one daughter. He had one daughter. So it was just combining those two kids, and they happen to be girls. Oh. And then having a little ace in the middle, okay? Now, you can't forget about that girl's mother that is probably still in. Well, I definitely, I know she's still in the uh, child's life because we didn't hear anything different. She may not want her child around Candy all the time because she's still living. She's still vibrant. And when she does let her child come, it's more so to be with her father. So they can have a, a, a bond, something that they probably didn't have real close-knit tightness uh, prior. But then I ain't going to say that. I'll take that back because just because he's not on TV and I can't speak for his past life before he got on TV, he probably did have a good relationship with his daughter. He probably was paying child support. He probably was seeing her whenever he could. OK, but since he met Candy, everything kind of like skyrocketed and he could, in a sense, give her a better life. Because floating around with Candy, Candy opened up new avenues for him and he has a little bit more money to generate. You know what I'm saying? To make it a good thing for his daughter, not the ex-girlfriend or the ex-wife. I don't know if he was mad before. I, I, I don't know. I don't think he was. He probably was just baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? So not putting Todd Tucker down because I like daddy daycare. I do. I like daddy daycare. I don't want him to go ever go away with his daughter again. Okay. And that's probably why we don't see her that much because the mother of Kayla probably was going to hit Todd Tucker upside the head for broadcasting that, trying to minimize all of her raising that she did with that child. You know what I'm saying? Then you're going to take the child out and be guardianship over her while y'all part in a stripper booty club. Oh, are you kidding? I would have been, I would have been livid too. So Todd Tucker, don't ever repeat that. We were on you like white on rice. Don't do that no more. You just threw that whole perfect, well, we know everybody ain't perfect, but the, the standards you were putting down with Ace and, you know, other men were recognizing it and trying to do the right thing. You know, you was good figure, father figure out there that everybody wanted to gravitate to in the positive. So we're going to just, you know, throw flag on the plate. Don't ever repeat that again, you know, because that's going to be a telltale sign that you got some uh, hidden issues we need to discuss, okay? But we're going to give you that one. May it never be repeated again, okay? Fair warning. Anyway, closing that book, that chapter, you know, you do have some women that like, you know, I send my child to visit you. I said, my child to definitely, uh, you get to know her so she can call on you. If I'm no longer in this earth, she will always have a place to go, be welcome, whatever. But I ain't got nothing wrong. With, I ain't got nothing against Candy. I ain't got nothing for her either. But, you know, she ain't going to show me up because she got all this going on for her and this, that, and third. And I'm just an everyday person, you know, trying to live my life, which I think the latter, which is being an everyday person, 
living a normal life is more admirable. Okay, because you're in the struggle. But then again, you know, I can't fault Candy for being a boss woman. You know, she's always wanted to be in the entertainment field. Nothing really bad has come out about her. So she just can't uh, let men pay their way. She always taking care of men. But hey, if she got the money, that's what she want to do. So be it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing wrong with that either. I mean, if that's the kind of life you want to live, whatever. Go ahead. Do you, babe. Do you. But I always keep a cushion it. I will keep a safe in it in case that joker want to go left and you have to go right. You know what I'm saying? And, and it just is what it is. Hopefully, y'all got a tight prenup thing going on because it just seemed to me Todd would try to take y'all. Yes, I say I like Todd, but I'm just saying. I saw some things before they got married and, you know, he wanted to step in and say he wanted this, that, and the third. I mean, a marriage is 50 50. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, you ain't finna take and add on to what I got. Okay. We're going to start off fresh. I put 50 cent in, you put 50 cent in, we grow together. Now, we start at that point, okay? So, everything you attain with me or getting with me, it starts. When you count my past money or the money that I currently had or have when I'm with you now, no, 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 no. We go on square one. You put your 50 cent in, I put my 50 cent in. You put 100 in, I maybe put 2,000. But, you know, we, we, we going into what we have now. Of course, my pot going to be bigger always, mainly because, you know, She's basically the provider of the family. She probably put the money down for the OG restaurants and, and leasing other buildings and, and making coins and coins. But she let him manage it. And what it, he gets probably a bigger, more stake in that because, hey, you know, she let him have it so she can do what she got to do when it comes to Bravo and the Real Housewives of Atlanta and her bedroom candy and all this other stuff. All these other ventures she's making hand over fist dough with. You know what I'm saying? Give him something to do. Because I still ain't seen what he really does other than. You gave him the keys and the shop and the ownership for OLG. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe he owns 80% and you own the other 20. You know, this is like a, a targeted gift. Okay? Because anything go wrong, I know I'm only going to have my 20% stay. You're going to have the 80, but you make it work. But I'm pulling all my resources out. Okay? You go for your own. I set you up. You thrive. When we were together, I want you to keep thriving. All right? So hopefully Candace on her business about that because she's about her business about everything else. So don't let a little penis get you all out of shape, okay? When it comes to your mind and your brain and thinking, okay? Now that's for Candace. Now, get into the story about everybody trying to figure out why she ain't got Kayla with her here and there. Kayla wasn't with her. That ain't Kayla's real, that ain't Candace's real daughter. She had Riley Burris, okay? And she had Ace with Todd Tucker. Kayla is just an addition to everything because Riley only has her mother. And I'm sure uh, Todd be with her here and there. You know what I'm saying? Because Todd didn't even want her to have that little Porsche she driving around. Now, he told me she could have had a Kia or a Honda like he got his daughter riding in a Honda. Don't get me wrong. Uh, a well suited up, uh, souped up Honda, or even just, just rolling out the showroom flow. It's real good. Okay. It is real good compared to an ABC car or, you know, one of them two or $3,000 jobs that you got to get for a car just to get you where you can go. So both of them are really, truly blessed. Both girls, Riley and Kayla. But Riley is Candy's daughter. Candy happened to be a multimillionaire. Okay, so of course her presence is going to be bigger, fancier, and well thought out compared to somebody just working a nine to five job. And I'm just assuming and probably have a career field going on that make a certain amount of money. Now, Todd, he does have his little thing, so he can spice it up a little bit, but it ain't going to ever compare to what Candy can give her child. Okay, that she had by somebody else that she had prior to even knowing Todd and Kayla and the rest of the family. All right. So, and then if Todd may get even kind of silly anyway, because Candy probably said, well, why don't we get her this Range Rover, you know, for her birthday present? And Todd be like, hell, I ain't got no Range Rover. You know, he got to always have his hands in the pot. So he's going to always subtract from what Kayla could have because he's looking at all the money that it could be on him. And that's just my take. You could take it how you want to. I'm just saying, Todd, you the issue right here, okay? Because I'm sure Candy would shower her with just as much presence, love, money, position. She can hook her in, but it's you. You saying, well, I don't know if I want Kayla to have that. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, Todd, you seem like you the one in the way uh, from blocking Kayla's blessings that she could be getting. And then it could be... Uh, 
Kayla's mother don't want all that free press for her daughter. So she can not feel some kind of way that Candace is able to provide a little, little, well, a lot, hell of a lot more better than probably what she can. And again, all this is speculation. All this is my opinion because she's a smart lady for not wanting to come and be on the show. Even if Candy gave her a pass and said, okay, she can make a few episodes, but not, uh-uh, she ain't taking over my bread and butter. They might like her better than they like me. And then she'll be trying to get a peach, and we know that ain't finna happen. <laughs> I ain't let Phaedra come back. I damn sure all ain't finna let your ex-wife, ex-girlfriend come up here and try to get a storyline on me. Okay, no, nah, we ain't gonna spend that narrative. Nope, 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 I'm sorry. Case closed. So it could be an issue like that, but I just kind of hate that people always you know, want to put the children in the middle when you have a blended family and wonder, well, where is this person at? Why are they ain't here? Well, Kayla Mama might be uh, spending a lot of quality time with her child trying to instill her values, her moral compasses, and how she wants to see her life grow, her child grow up off the entertainment field, off of the entertainment spectrum, okay? She don't want that life for her daughter. And Todd may be in perfect agreement with that, you know. And I'm like, cool. But that's all I had to say. Let's read and see what the story is giving us. All right. Another great article written by none other than Christian Willis, my girl at Atlanta Black Star. Yes, I'm claiming her as my girl. I don't know her. She don't know me. She don't even know I do videos. Okay. So don't act like I'm trying to say or pull up on her name. Okay. I'm trying to get her some publicity that I put out to you all that she wrote. So you don't have to wait to me uh, to come and talk with a story that she published or, you know, put out in print for everybody to see. Go on and check her out for your own benefit at Atlanta Black Star. And she may be the one that put out a salacious story on entertainment news on a particular celebrity. This time she happened to be talking about Candy Burris, okay? Her daughter, Riley, and bringing in the other effects, okay? But let's go. The title says, why do all y'all always assume the worst? Question mark. Candy Burris hits back after a follower asks about stepdaughter's whereabouts. Then you know, Candy don't play about her money. She don't play about her family. And she don't play about her man. Okay? All right. If you don't know, now you know. All right. That's my pun intended. Not in this article. Okay, the first paragraph reads, a fun family moment of Candy Burris and her clan taking part in a new musical internet challenge quickly changed its tune once fans began inquiring about the whereabouts of the Real Housewives of Atlanta step daughter star. Okay, okay. Now, we often kind of get it wrong. We say step daughter, but there's no other way to put it. She's not my biological child. I didn't adopt her. So... We she doesn't come from the same mother, okay? Or so she has to be a stepdaughter, okay? Just play on words. Don't mean her heart ain't in the right place, okay? That's my pun intended. I do the sidebar. Y'all know I get down that way. Getting back to the article, it says Burris uploaded a video of herself with 16-year-old Riley Burris taking part in the Blessings on Me Challenge, which comes courtesy of actor and songwriter Javon Dewan's new song. Uh, the track, wait a minute, my phone is acting up, y'all, hold on, okay, songwriter Javon, the one's new song, the track, which features record producer J Jazzy Faith and one twelve singer Q Parker, among other, toots a message of receiving blessings no matter the circumstances in life, okay, so uh, then, you know, she plays the clip, and I also saw it. It was kind of cute. They were just bouncing around in the kitchen and had a little ace up there trying to rock his little tutu, and it was, it was just fun. I just saw fun. I didn't care who would just have taught one in it, so I didn't, I didn't expect her, uh, Kayla to be in it. It's not like she lives in Georgia. I think she just goes back and forth, but she probably prim primarily lives with her mom. She just come and visit Todd, Okay. Then it goes back to say the clip, which Burris posted to Instagram Sunday, August 18th, goes back and forth between the singer and Riley and the star son and husband, Ace and Todd Tucker. I didn't see Todd Tucker in the video, but, you know, it is what it is. As fans saw the family dancing in the footage, they raved about the bond between Burris and her oldest child and her family as a whole. I had to take that back. I think I did see Todd in there, but Todd just be an after effect to me. Um... Pretty much. 
you know, he always be bouncing around somewhere. He can't let Candy go nowhere by herself. I, she might be scared. She might go somewhere, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. My phone is freezing up. Let me see if I can get the story back. <sighs> but like I said, you can always go and ch fact check me if you have to and bring up your own narrative of what uh, narrative, what you want to get from whatever is going on on what I'm talking about on my said commentary. But, uh, you know, I guess it was some fans up in the, um, what do you call it? The commenting section on her Instagram page. Or hell, it probably went to another page of hers and drilled down on her real bad uh, about the relationship she was having. Oh, one. Let me go back out. Uh, but we, we, we got to do better about that. We, we can't, you know, that's how we don't see. We don't know. We don't know about what's really going on. Uh, in somebody's household, and can't um, Riley lives here. There's gonna be something when Riley pull up and go out of state to college, because I think she wants to be a lawyer and she may study abroad. Who knows? She got the money. Candy got the money to send her baby girl anywhere she wants. Okay, getting back to the story. Uh, as fans saw the family dancing and footage, they raved about the bond between Burris and her oldest child and the family as a whole. Y'all are too freaking cute. I love the mother-daughter relationship. Man, y'all so dope. I love it. These are uh, coming from commentators or uh, spectators or fans, however you followers, whatever, however you want to uh, title yourself. One com commenter said, I love it. Thanks for the motivation this morning, Candy and Riley Burst, Tucker, and Ace Wells. Okay. However, some began to comment about the absence of Kayla Tucker, Todd's daughter. Where's Todd's? Uh, daughter, KPT, you never see her dance or hanging with the family, especially when, with Candy. You guys have a e beautiful family. Where is stepsister daughter? She don't like to hang out with the fam. Then another commenter said, exactly. I see no pictures or videos with family. Kind of weird. Someone else replied. The remark led Burst to reply to effectively shut down the chitter chat. I was like, go ahead, girl. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Go on, on them. Okay. Uh, she went at Vera 3624123. Why do y'all always assume the worst? She's in New York City. If you must know, and you should follow her so you can keep up with her. IG is at KPT. Okay. Have a blessed Sunday. The escape singer replied. Okay. Then fans had signed off before about the apparent lack of balance there is between Tucker's daughter by the by uh, Burris' child and the son they shared together. In December, Tucker posted a photo with 23-year-old Kayla on a family vacation. It's nice to see your daughter in the spotlight. Seems like it's all about Candy and her family. One Instagram user commented of a photo. Yes, that's what it looks like. Another one of Todd's followers commented in response. And see, that's just some shake of booty uh, trailer trash people talking there. Okay, because if Todd, he should have gotten straight and said, well, uh, Riley and Candy are my family, too. So I have a blended family. What do you mean? That's what he should have jumped in. But that's just me being gangster. That's just me being gangster, y'all. Okay. But um, then another commenter said, neither Turka or Boris responded at the time. But last year, saw many focus on Riley, who celebrated her Sweet 16 with a luxury vehicle as a present for mom. The team also had a major body transformation by dropping 52 pounds with the help of a trainer. Okay? And if you want to go to that video uh, where Candy, I think she's in black uh, with some jeans. Hell, I don't know what Candy got on. But uh, Riley has on some blue jeans, shorts, and a white t-shirt. Let me see if I can get it to play before my phone dies on me. Oh, I'm in need, y'all. I'm in need of everything. But God gonna take care of it for me. Yeah, okay. I did see a Todd Tucker was dancing with uh <laughs> baby ace. He just jumping up like a kangaroo child. And and Candy's in some cute little short cut dress and she's dancing with Rod. So it's almost like they're having a dance contest. But uh you know they're having fun. They're there in the house or whatnot. I mean, yeah, maybe Candy, when Kayla is home with them, she should, um, you know, get into a dance contest or, you know, show us a little bit more footage since people are pressed about her and her not being around her stepdaughter when she is in town. 
But yeah, like I said, y'all gotta understand that girl don't predominantly live here. She's a New Yorker. She loves New York. She don't. She probably never want to really come down here to stay anyway. But she wants to see her dad. She wants to visit with her dad, and she do know if she come to see her dad. It's gonna be some plush living, girl. It's gonna be some plush living, and I'm sure she has her own space that's dedicated uh to Kayla when she does does come home uh to see her dad. Uh, I'm pretty sure her room is pretty much how she left it or whatnot. Probably a little dusting goes on, you know, here and there. But not, you know, nothing rearranged or taken from her spot. Because everybody do need a spot when they come to a new environment or a second environment that they uh, are loved and come to to spend time with. So I'm like, don't take away from her real mom. Let's not forget she do have a real mom and her mom really uh, loves her child around her. I think she is the only child. Uh, on uh, maybe her mom didn't remarry or have any other kids, so they, at least Kayla don't talk about them. Or Todd don't say anything about it to give us any information on that. But I think they're living a healthy life. Uh, Kayla, when she is here and Todd's putting her on Front Street and put posting her on social media, she looks to be happy. You know, I can't say because every time you smile in public, we don't really know what you're going through. You could be going through hell. But I really don't think that's the issue. Nothing has really come out on Miss Kayla. So her mom has done the good thing. And I think Todd has been in her life uh, thus far. And she's been on an even keel. So just because we don't see her doesn't mean that they're not taking care of her financially or uh, emo emotionally as well. Uh, Candy can't overstep her boundaries and say, okay, I want to have Kayla him with me. Da, da, da. I mean, that's just like saying if um, oh, let's see. Candy. Let's say if her and Riley, Riley and Kayla were really, really good and they were best friends and she invited Riley to come home with her to where her mom lives, you know, would Candy feel some kind of way? Would she be calling Riley all the time saying, how she treating you? Is she treating you good? Will you take this extra money just in case you need to, you know, come back home because she ain't doing right by you? You know what I'm saying? We all are catty like that, meaning women, and we want to make sure they get in the best, they're in the best environment and they're getting treated the way they would if they were at home with their, uh, you know, their mom, their biological biologically mom or biological mom so we have that fear that we don't want our child loving some other woman you know uh better than what we would love them or we don't want to be sized up and being like uh compared to you know what i'm saying we don't like that i'm sure men don't like it either so i think in my perspective she's doing a good job and i'm pretty sure she, whatever she's putting back for riley you know, between her and Todd, that same money is going, you know, to, you know, to her uh, safe, um, net, safety net as well. And then you can't forget about Baby Ace. Baby Ace got his own little clothing line going on. So we better see him doing well because they sure put him in a lot of stuff for him to do well. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we can't predict the future or none of this uh, type of situation, but we do what we can, okay, for our family and our loved ones. So I just wanted to swoop down and give Ken a little thumbs up. Her and Todd and, and Riley and Ace and baby Kayla whenever she's going to be filmed. But it could just be the thing that her mom, Kayla's mom, want her to uh, have a, a uh, stress-free life as much as she can. She don't want her on TV. She, You know what I'm saying? That kind of thing. That's y'all life, but that's not the life I want for my child. And call, uh, Mr. Todd has to fall back and recognize that you know, he asked for this line, like, he asked to be in the entertainment field, you know, and if Kayla don't look like she wants to be in it, or I'm pretty sure we will see a lot more of her, so maybe she just don't want that type of publicity in her life right now, who knows, it might change, you know, she might get to be 25, and you want to sway in front of rafters, I don't know, and Candy probably could show her how to do that, <laughs> But you got to understand, it's a, a totally different dynamics. What Candy believes in, how she lives her life, may be totally different from what Kayla mom wants for her and want her to be around on a full-time basis. So it is what it is. Kayla, I think, was, what, 18 now or something like that? I don't think she's 20. She might, well, yet again, she might be 21. But still, that's young. 
Only time I can call you a grown, grown person, you handling the, the darn thing, is when you're out on your own, you're paying your own bills, and you're making good decisions, okay? Then you could test the, the, the waters to see. Or, you know, if they're living at home with their parents and they're still, uh, you know, taking some of the load off their parents by saying, you know, I'm not financially stable at this point, but let me help you with this, that, and third, because I know it's hard out there. Then you know you don't raise somebody good because they're stepping up to the plate saying, okay, I can't afford my own place right now, but I want to definitely pitch in anywhere I can to take the, the load off of you all. You know what I'm saying? Give me two or three bills and let me float with that. And then I still have whatever I have to save and try to get out as soon as possible or when my financial situation will allow me. <laughs> then again, you know you're dealing with somebody that got respect. They uh, have learned and you've get, given them a great foundation to uh, enrich themselves and flourish in life. So, hey, kudos either way. But that's all I had on the story. I hope y'all enjoyed it uh, due to my many interruptions. Uh, but I love y'all rocking with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that like button every time, okay? And share my videos if you feel to do so. But I'll be back hopefully with another crazy video, a crazy uh, perspective of what I feel about whatever I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully I can groove to it. All right. But that's all I had. Y'all be blessed. Wait on, to, uh, wait on my next video because you know it's coming out. It's Friday. I can use the bang out a few of them. You know what I'm saying? I know you know what I'm saying. But peace and blessings. Talk to you later. Bye.